Okay, hi fellas. As you can see, it's a mess on my table. It's a lot of parts here. So, what I will do here today, I will assemble the Hitachi DH for the MR. It's a rotary hammer drill. So, the big nice rotary hammer drill. Oh, okay, it's an old tool. So, I will change the orange for it, the cord armor. Okay, and we will see what more we will need for this one. I think it will be enough. Okay, so first of all, I need to remember what I did with this one because it's I don't know, it's laying around here for about two months or more until I got the parts. Okay. I see that I will need a new carbon brushes, which I don't have, I think. Okay, so now first of all about the o-rings. So it's a small o-ring here. It must be this o-ring. So of course, we are replacing it as we can see. This one got flattened and the new one is round. I will put them like that and zoom it. Yeah, you can definitely see the difference on the surface here and the shape of the o-ring here so the o-ring definitely needs to be replaced okay so just removing it and installing the new one okay putting everything to the side so now the best one, the orange here got flat too. Okay, the, it's normal for the orange because it's a wear and tear part. Okay, you and the striker. Okay. So what we have now? Now we can. Put a connection rod here on the crankshaft. Okay, where's our connection rod? So I'll open the Makita grease. I have the grease and it's a whoa, it's a half liter. So you can buy the same grease in the small tubes uh, with a 30 grams, I think, if I could remember. It's uh, part number 181490-7, I think. Okay, I'm now just throwing it in and putting it on the crankshaft. Okay, now I'm searching for the small ring here. Here is the small ring. I'm installing the small ring, pressing it down to get fit. Yep. Good now. Okay, what's next? Next, we need to install the gears. So, I think this gear will go here. They will work together with this one. Yeah, they will work. Okay. Just greasing the side of the gear a little bit. Putting it down, moving the connection rod to get everything in a place. Okay, and the gear is almost in a place. Yeah, now the gear is in a place. Okay, as we have this gear in place, now we can start thinking of the tool holder assembly. So, we have the tool holder here with a part of the cylinder. We have the hammer. As you can see, it's a good uh, tiny flat washer, the fat o-ring and the fat washer. So, 
we are greasing all these parts with the grease on almost all tools I'm using the maqueta grease okay inserting the hammer okay now we can put a second tool holder here I will put some grease to get it in easier of course normally it's getting in easily but still it will be not bad if you grease it okay yep it's in now we need to find the round pins the four round pins okay just found them just installing them in the holes of course need to move a little bit to get them fit okay so the pins now in the hole so we can grease them a little bit around the grease helps uh, to prevent them without slipping out when you are assembling the tool, so yeah, it helps you. Okay, now we have the cover for the pins. Just covering the pins. Now we'll, they will not go out. Okay, so it's time for the hammer. Don't forget that the hammer goes like this, the orange goes to a different direction than the tool holder so if not you will hear the awful sound when the tool is working and of course it will not hammer with all the power okay just pressing it in getting that grease in okay so the flat washer to protect the ball bearing okay it's a tiny spring here the fat spring here then goes the plastic gear the big plastic gear you can see that the spring here goes on a in the groove here okay then you yeah. Getting the gear here to fit, line and everything, checking if it's moving or not. Yep, it's moving now, so that's a good sign. Okay, and now we can assemble the the tool holder, the crankshaft, all the parts together. Okay, it's a uh, grooves here for this teeth you can see the grooves inside for this teeth so you need to align them to get them fit okay now I will put some more grease inside here in this one because I like when it's a uh, grease everywhere of course, too much grease can break the tool. Okay, we'll cut the tube here. Okay, so now it's easier to take the grease out. Okay, putting it here, putting this part here, just making sure that everyone, everything is moving here. Okay, and you need to replace the glove because it's broke so we'll 
We are getting too close to assemble this tool. It's a big tool. It looks complicated when you're looking at the spare parts view, but it's a pretty simple tool made with a, I don't know, made by genius. Okay. So now don't forget to align these teeth with the holes here. So, okay, just trying to do that for the first time today. Okay, so um, don't forget it's a ball bearing inside. So, of course, just make sure that the connection rod go to the tool holder because it will be a lot of problems if not. Okay, just checking if everything is aligned here. So everything seems not bad here and finally yes it's because it was so easy normally you need a two or three tries to <laughs> make that okay so this time it was really, really easy okay now i need a bolt here's the four bolts okay have them i will take the the drill to make the jab because why else I need a drill, the drill just to make the jab for me. Okay, not getting it till the end. Okay, now it's going itself. Now we need to check the bolt with the allen key with the hand. Okay, just tighten them a little bit. I think it's uh, about 50 newtons. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. I don't know how much newton it is. I'm just feeling that from my hand. Of course, the the bolt is locked tight, so yeah, it's, um, they don't need to be tightened very very hard. Of course, if you tighten it too low, the head will get loose and damage the housing, the dust will go in and so on, so on, so on, so you will be in a big, big problem. Okay, what now? Now I will put the grease here, so, some grease here, okay, I will clean some grease out of here because I want to add the fresh grease. Okay, just putting the grease here to the hole. Okay, now putting the grease here for the gears. Lubricating the AC. Okay, and I think we are good to go to put the Parts here, okay, it's a torque limiter, the armature, so most important parts of this tool, okay, just pressing it down, moving the armature a little bit and hoping that it will slide in, yep, it slides in, you can see that it's almost no gap here, so what I'm doing, first of all, I'm screwing in the short screws here and then I know that my that my housing will not go everywhere anywhere. Okay, find one screw and cannot find another. Yeah, that happens when you disassembling the tool. Okay, sorry it's um, too early for this screw because it's a armature housing mixing. So I have the four screws that will hold the housings. I have the screw here for the for this hole and it's still one screw missing. Okay, of course I can install it later. But it would be better to find it okay. I will not waste the time now. So now we need to put a dust cover here so 
it's almost no different how you will put it here. Okay. Now trying to install the armature inside the housing. Be weird to not to damage the magnet here because it cost the 20 euros and it's really really important. Okay, so now I'm screwing the screw in. And now I know that my housing will not go anywhere. And I can flip the tool around, move it and everything will be good. Okay, sorry, I need to do something with my nose. Okay. So now it's a four screw here. And they're holding two very very important parts together. It's a hammer casing with a motor housing, so Now checking the screws with the, with the Allen key. Okay, the screw. So I will need to find the screw for this one. Okay, now we have the two options. We can put this button here or we can close the cover, so I think I will close the cover if I will find the cover of course okay yeah here it is okay so now we need to put some grease here the grease from here will go all around the tool system the hammer mechanism so so it's need to be put it in okay now we're just closing the cover and we need to find the four small screws for the for this cover. Okay, I think it's uh, the small screws. Yep. Okay, I'm just putting them in. holding the tool okay they are in now so <clears throat> we can put the, the, the I don't know the housing here okay now we have the button here and you can see the knob here push from so we need to get it here in a gap so okay so it need to go here down where is the grease so okay it's pretty simple to do that of course but if you so put it in a different place you can break the gears here or the damage the tools so it's uh, it's, it's, it's nothing more bad than the damage the tool when you're repairing it yep. okay so the the holding ring is here inside. Okay. Now we have the button here. Of course, we don't know uh, what uh, position we have now. So I can spin the armature and I can see that the tool holder is spinning. So that means we are on a drilling and a percussion mode. So I have put it on the right mode. For the first time, in the first time, so... Okay. 
Okay, what we have now? We have the handle, the controller unit. So it's uh, okay. Just closing the handle. Now I'm holding it with one finger, and we need to screw the screws in. So okay, maybe it will not fall down. Because I need to change the bit. I hate when they're making the different screws because then we need to change the bit. Okay. Just screwing all the six screws here. Okay, the last one. Okay, 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 so have the switch here the switch is looks like a walking switch okay what I did more I need, need to change the cord armor okay and why I have disconnected this wire okay, I don't know I will just cut it Okay, now installing the new cord or more. So we need to prepare the wire in the length of this. So just cutting the insulation, trying not to damage the wire itself. Now I need to connect the, the wires. I will take the screwdriver, the PHU screwdriver. I will unscrew the screw here. Okay, it's a screw in the flat washer, so I'm not using any anything to prevent the cable from splitting out. What I did, I made it uh, the while around the screw by the screwing direction so it will get it and hold it really well okay tighten it okay now we have the blue wire here I will shorten it a little bit Put the, the blue wire or the second wire is going um, not to the switch, it's going to the connector. This connector, okay. So it's just inside, it's screwing the screw in. Now we are ready to put everything in the handle. Okay, this one is in the cable holder, the cable protection. Okay, there's the screws here. Screws here. Yep, and I need to change the bit again. Sometimes I really hate to change the bits because you're changing, changing, and changing them. Yeah, I'll use the proper screws for this one. Okay, so the 
this holder must press the cable to the housing because it holds the cable from pulling it out when you are working it's a uh, it's uh, almost the same holders on the old power tools so now when it is installed you will not take out the cable or I don't know if you are <laughs> really, really strong and you can take it out okay closing the core here finding the screws for this one and of course screwing that in okay checking the switch so now I have the problem here, I don't have the carbon brushes for this tool, so I will go to the shop, maybe I will find them fast, if I will not find them fast, I will leave as it is, I will install them later. Okay, they are look pretty similar, but I think okay, yeah, maybe it's a maybe it's a right carbon brushes. It's a nine 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 zero seven three. Okay, so I will put the gloves again back because if I'm working without the gloves, my hands are looking very very dirty after work, and uh, I cannot wash them. I cannot wash out the grease. So. It's better to work with the gloves. Okay, we have you in. The cap. Okay, now we have the second carbon brush. and changing the bit again okay so <laughs> why they did a lot of bits here Screw is screwed in. Now load the candle. The okay, the really it's a, not a screw, it's a bolt. Okay, so just taking the handle here. Okay, and we have assembled the Hitachi DH4MR. So, as you can see, it's um, not uh, not a hard job to do, but it's uh, time consuming. So, if you have time, if you have a table and there are some, I think, the pretty simple tools, you can do that yourself. Okay, so. Really thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel for the next video. So for now, bye.